This short video is going to show you a little bit about those intermolecular bonds that uh, you see between water. So it's a silent film and I'll just narrate through this and you notice that here you have two hydrogen gas molecules. Um, remember hydrogen comes in pairs, those are in green, and then the blue ones are the oxygen gas molecules, those are diatomic. And when they come together a chemical reaction happens where you have water H2O. You see on the top those red uh, areas are your hydrogens where you have more um, the protons uh, with the negative charge being more towards the bottom. And you notice that that positive charged um, hydrogen is going to have a hydrogen bond connected to the negative charge of um, the water molecule, keeping in mind that negatives and positives attract. And so these are called hydrogen bonds, and they're incredibly important bonds for all of life. And here you notice that we're having water form in liquid form because those hydrogen bonds are bonding, the positive always connecting to the negative. In this next video, what you're going to be looking at is how water molecules uh, look differently in liquids, solids, and gases. So here you see actual motion um, ever so slightly. Um, these here are, however, not moving uh, around each other, but seem to be fixed in one location, and this would be considered a solid, such as ice. And in the next uh, part, you'll notice that it has a real rigid structure, a crystalline structure, um, with lots of air in between. And this is why ice is actually less dense than the liquid form of water because you have those air molecules in between. Again, taking a look that those positively charged hydrogens um, are going to be uh, connecting to the negative region of the water being the oxygen. In the gas state, on the other hand, you still have these water molecules but as a gas, they have no hydrogen bonds connecting them, but are purely flying randomly throughout um, and knocking into each other. They just are moving too quickly to bond. So that gave you a